The network days function allows us to calculate the number of working days between two specified dates and Excel will exclude the weekends from that calculation. So to demonstrate how this function works, what we'll do is say we have a project that starts on the 1st of January 2013, ends on the 31st of December 2013, and we want to know the total working days between them two dates. So to do that, it would be equals network days, open parentheses, and then we select the start date, comma, the end date, close parentheses, hit enter, and Excel has worked out that there's 261 working days between the 1st of January and the 31st of December, excluding all weekends. The only problem with this calculation is it doesn't take into account any public holidays. Most countries have public holidays throughout the year as well as uh, weekends, so to exclude public holidays from the calculation as well, what we would do is equals network days, open parentheses, same again, select the start date, select the end date, press comma, and you will see here that Excel has highlighted holidays, which means we can now input a range uh, to identify holiday dates, which will then also be excluded from the calculation. So, using this list of UK holidays for 2013, I'm going to select the range, press close parentheses, hit enter, and you can now see, excluding weekends and the public holidays, there's 253 working days between the 1st of January and the 31st of December uh, for this project. Depending on which part of the world you're doing these calculations for, um, network days actually assumes that the weekend is a Saturday and a Sunday. But there are parts of the world where the weekend will fall on different days. For example, from experience in the Middle East, the UAE has its week weekends on a Friday and a Saturday. So we would have to do the calculation slightly different, and that's where the function networkdays.intl comes in. Basically, networkdays.intl has an option for us to tell Excel when the weekend falls. So, doing the same as network days, it equals network days, but this time dot .intl, open parentheses, same again, select the start date, press comma, select the end date, press comma, and now you can see Excel is asking for the weekend. Using this list of weekends here, we can basically enter the number to tell Excel which days to exclude as the weekend. So the UAE, for example, like I said, has the weekend on a Friday, Saturday, so we're going to put seven here. And then again, we need to include the public holidays, which from a bit of research on Google, I found that the UAE holidays for 2013 are these dates. So we're going to select this range include that, close parentheses, and press enter. So in the UAE, from the 1st of January to the 31st of December 2013, there's 251 working days. So that's how you would use the network days and networkdays.intl function.